back everybody to rulebook rundown my name is cloud art and i am joined once again with blunderbutt matrix matrix mode that's right <laughs> it's back it's back and this time we're back with dice throne adventures because we love the game Ooh. and we finally are doing the marvel stuff but we are going this time for the insane difficulty insane. hopefully these characters will be able to to roll through it a little bit better than Santa and Krampus did. Um, yeah, that is that is true. We we intentionally picked insane because we intentionally picked heroes that are going to do yeah we intentional are, large numbers of damage. <laughs> yes, looking looking at these characters' uh, abilities and everything, we think man that seems really good in DTA. So we're gonna give it a go. Uh, so the the primary thing we still have thirteen health just like on veteran, but our salves heal for one less. So that could be that could be tricky, and then the level four minions all have an additional king's hand token. I feel like that really didn't come into that big of a play for us when we had played I think, before. I, yeah, I think so, we got, we might have gotten lucky on a couple of them, but yeah. So that you know, we'll we'll see how that goes. But the kind of the main thing is we will be fighting against the vizier minion along with bosses. We haven't experienced that at all yet. So that'll be an interesting thing the next time. But this time, we're going for a portal crawl. Yeah, and, and, and with Vizier, I think, I don't know about you, this is my first time seeing him in play. Yes. So it'll be interesting to see how we Agreed. How I time. have not read his card at all. <laughs> <laughs> I did, and it's, it's, I'm, it's, it's, I don't know. I, I think I'm going to feel it worse when we get, when we have yeah. to deal with probably so i will be playing as thor the god of thunder yes. uh, and i i just had to have an excuse to show off the minis uh and then <laughs> uh blunder is going to be black widow yeah i am master of deception and electro gauntlets so <laughs> there we go and i think we are all set and ready to go we also are using our mythic abilities because we are on veteran or higher Yep. And I think Why that's don't it. we uh, go ahead and see what your mythic does? Sure, yeah, let's let's hit that up. So my mythic ability, the active ability, whenever you activate an offensive ability that utilizes a thunder, which is the six, uh, I gain an electrokinesis. And the electrokinesis, I can spend three of them at any time to draw a card. And I have some abilities and cards that will... <clears throat> trigger off of electrokinesis as well so that's that's pretty neat to give extra electrokinesis because uh, drawing cards is going to be huge because i can discard a card to throw the hammer and i can shoot throw the hammer at anybody and it'll do one uh one isolated that's source of head. undefendable damage so every time i pitch a card by discarding from my hand i can either retrieve or throw the hammer and deal damage to anybody. <laughs> oh, you missed it by one? Don't worry. ha gotcha. Hammer across the way. <laughs> Gonna be awesome. Uh, then my flip ability is to deal two collateral damage to four chosen opponents. May choose the same opponent multiple times. <laughs> I could just flip this and dole out eight damage. Yep. Feels good. Feels pretty it's not, good. It's not OP at all. Yeah. It's, <laughs> you know. Uh, so my mythic ability... It's, it's all right. You know, we'll see what happens when we get into play. Um, so my active ability, um, the first ability upgrade I play each turn costs one CP less, um, which doesn't seem like much, but if you play Black Widow, um, you, and you'll see why, um, is because every ability upgrade I play in this game gives me the opportunity to either A, a card um, at some point, um, B, once I get um, Widow's Gauntlet upgraded, not only are you going to dish out just a base amount of damage, but um, every ability upgrade I have in play, it adds additional one damage. Um, and everything up on our board upgrades. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight additional damage. Um, so the idea behind that active ability is to get those all right away. Uh, start punching people. Um, my flip. Um, inflict time bomb with the one second side up on two chosen opponents it can be the same opponent so the idea behind that with a one second time bomb is really if i flip it before their turn um, then they have to roll for those bombs 
um, on their next turn, which each bomb does four damage. And they have Pops. to roll. They they would have to roll a six to to negate it, yes. right? Otherwise, it blows up for four. A one through five will advance it and blow it up. Six removes it, um, and it's four damage. So that's eight damage potentially um, by flipping. Nice. And we can manipulate those dice, so we can tip it. We can. I don't know if we can. Uh, I don't think there's a card to make them reroll, but we can we, definitely tip it. Wild card. It's not in a roll phase. Right. Um, okay. So the so the orange border be, cards we couldn't do, but the instant cards we could. Sure. So it had to be a tippet. So, um, but I think the idea, like we just mentioned before starting, is with Vizier in play. I think that's going to help. Yeah. Maybe, uh, kind of dish out some damage. So. So yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Excellent. All right. Well, should we should we roll? See who goes first. Sure, in sure. this piece and if, if anybody's curious as to why i have two cp dials <laughs> uh my on-screen spider-man one is my actual cp dial uh, but my my black widow cp dial over on the side here is just to help me understand the amount of damage additional damage i'll be doing because there's several abilities on here where if i have at least um x amount of abilities i do additional damage so if that's the case for example um, my red room training, if I have at least five upgrades in play, I do one damage. So really I could flip this to a one. So anything I do on my board is going to be a one additional damage, um, up here. I mean, I guess I don't need to use it really. If you have at least three ability upgrades in play deal seven, but again, it's one here. So it would be eight. Um, I think it would maybe yeah, be, yeah. maybe it would be better for like keeping track of how many upgrades you have in play to not have to. Sure. Recount them. Not have to count them, <laughs> right? So we'll see. Until you get Maybe a feel for it. it. I don't yeah. know. It's it felt like a good idea when we before we started. But yeah, we'll see. Okay, let's uh mm -hmm. yeah let's go ahead and roll here. I think I gave myself enough screen to show both our rolls. Here. A six. Good start. Of course. Unless of course. Unless it's just wasted it, and then less good a start. <laughs> A one. one. I wasted my one. All right. <laughs> well, uh, we know the drill. We got to get yep. all the pieces of cheese. So let's see. Cheese. Uh, we're. Uh, let me. Let's talk this out real quick. Um, so level two. Maybe don't want to go to right away because we need stuff and we need to go down here. So I will go south down here to this level one. Sounds good. And it just shuffling them and flipping is boring. So we do it this way. We have a wheel. We got a wheel and we're going to the void crater. <laughs> All right, the void crater. And see, it was it was in place this whole time. Da 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 da. Void crater. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, I end it. Yep. So, no bonus for going there. Uh, remove all status effects from yourself. Done. The salve Easy. is a unique status effect, so that cannot be removed by stuff like this. Um, you may pay 2 CP to place one card from your discard pile into your hand. I will choose not to do that because sure. I don't have a discard pile. All right. So... We spawn a level one minion. All right, here we go. So I think out of ease of camera control, um, I gave myself enough room over by my dice tray. I think I'll just spawn our minions over there. Nice. Uh, so I did shuffle these. Okay. Um, and we're going to get a quasi matrix um, effect here. It's fine. Oh, we still, I, well, no, you can keep it on you, right? I suppose. Unless you want to see them. Oh, no. No, flip it to me. It was a good <laughs> idea at the time. Um, so I I'm, I shuffled them, and I'm going to draw from the front. Here we go. Okay. It's bent, so it's probably a foil. Ooh. <gasps> yeah, it's the true. Dark Druid. Oh, first strike. What a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> All right. So well. I, in the Freehawks channel... Where we might start like a currency system to place bets on like how many first strikes they they draw. And <laughs> That's like that. yeah, that would be good. Point um, proven. Yep, number number one. We are a hundred percent in our first strike draws. <laughs> if you just bet a hundred, you're good. Yep, <laughs> winning. 
Uh, all right, he has 11 health, 3 CP. Most of the time, the minions, the CP doesn't matter. He doesn't have any effects that uh, trigger off of his CP, so I'm not going to keep track of that. It's mainly going to be if we steal CP from him. We can't steal if he has zero. Um, and some effects like knockdown, he would have to pay CP for, which we would have to then keep track, uh, but neither of us have that, so meh. Uh, so we'll go from there. He does have first strike, so he gets to go first. All right, that's on me. That's on you. All right. Um, so his passive. First we have to do his passive. So at the start of your turn, he's going to roll a dice on a one or one through three. Become a bear. On a four through six, he becomes elk. And then we mark the active form by covering its head. A chaos token. So we rolled a six. So we cover... <clears throat> elk. The elk. <clears throat> which is the one on the right. And then we will roll. So the elk, um, if we land Spirit Strike, which is three vortexes of a five dice, um, he will inflict barbed fine and deal six defendable damage. Starting with two vortexes. Yep. Vortex. Additional roll. All right, one more roll. Mm -hmm. Start this off good. Nice. Uh -huh. Filled with roll. Excellent. It did get a large straight, but unfortunately, it does oh. not have an attack that needs that. That's too bad for him. Okay, so back over to me. Uh, I gain a CP. And draw a card. Ooh. Upgrades. I had get that out of here all ready to go for the barbed vine. <laughs> we have a so wild, a try, try again, and an indomitable will. This is pretty neat. Uh, if the incoming attack would reduce your health to zero, roll a die. On a four or five, set your health to one instead. So it can potentially uh, survive from that. So <laughs> uh, I think with these CP... We are going to spin the two to do Mighty Summon 2, because upgrades early are awesome in this mode. And then we're going to roll. Let's see. Now, I haven't done Thor that much, so uh, unfortunately you'll have to bear with me a little bit for, like, which thing do I do, and what's a good idea, right, okay. and all that, all that fun stuff. Uh, so we have a 2, 3, 4, 4, 6. That is almost a large straight. Holy cow, large straight deals 10 damage. Whoa. Okay. I mean, you could kill him here. <laughs> um, we do have a mighty summon right now, which is gaining two guard breaks, healing three. If you have Mjolnir, which we do, we start off with Mjolnir, gain three electrokinesis, uh, which could then be used to draw a card. Otherwise, retrieve Mjolnir and deal four collateral to the player you retrieved it from. Oh, dang. Wow. That's cool. Um, let's see, what do guard breaks do? A attack becomes undefendable on a 1 through 3. Whoa. If a player concludes their offensive roll phase with an attack, they may spin this token to roll a die. If the outcome is 1 through 3, the attack becomes undefendable. <laughs> Dang. That's, that's pretty good. Be characters. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm pretty into that. Uh, yeah, so. I mean, it sounds great. Okay. I think I think we'll we'll just keep that roll one uh, and go for a good thing we just upgraded that um, I'm gonna just out of curiosity what was the was the upgrade just the boom boom effect on the bottom uh, additional collateral it looks like yeah one one more collateral and one extra heal oh that's not bad yeah so I think I'm going to sell the get or no no not sell. I'm going to discard the get that out of here to throw mm -hmm. the hammer to give him the hammer, which deals okay. one damage to him, bringing him down to ten. To ten. Then I will trigger mighty summon, uh, which yep. I activate an ability that an offensive ability <laughs> that utilizes a six. So I'll gain an electrokinesis, and then I gain two guard breaks, heal three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can we 
we can heal up to 10 over our starting health <laughs> so we can we can go up to 23 uh, then I'm gonna retrieve Mjolnir and that deals four collateral damage to him so he's down to six uh. um Oh, when I retrieve Mjolnir, I gain an electrokinesis. <laughs> yep. That, uh... That just happens. That feels pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so now I have the ability to potentially make an attack undefendable. Uh, and I think that's... I think that's probably a good... A good setup for me. <laughs> so I will pass the turn over to you. Alright, um... Why don't I... I feel like I can just start my own menu. <laughs> that, seem, that seems good. So going up? Yeah. yeah, let's clear that. Yep. All right. Well, let's let's see where you are walking yourself into. Whoa, add. Watch yourself. Okay. Whoa. Here we go. I have to do like 17 clicks to make this happen, but it's cool, so we're doing it. All right, we're doing it. The Desert of Salt. It was there the whole time. <laughs> We're that good. Yep. The delay is for stream reasons. <laughs> uh, okay, so here we are in the Desert of Salt. No bonus. We spawn a level one minion. But alternatively, you can roll a die. On a one through three, you spawn a level two minion instead. But on a four through six, you gain two gold. Mm, I think we go level one. I think, yeah, that sounds good. All right. Uh, so our level one is going to be... What the da? The drag lackey. Drag lackey. Not first strike. Full health, mm -hmm. zero CP. We have a 50% chance so far of pulling a first strike minion. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, um, I go. F I Sorry. I do have the hammer right now. Right. If you're Let's get that back. wanting Let's to get that back, yeah. uh, we'll put yeah. it in the middle. Okay. Just in case. All right. We're gonna gain a CP. We're gonna draw a card. Um. All right. So our our active ability right now, our CP cost, our ability costs one CP less. I have three CP. So I think what I'm gonna do, because there's no there's no turn order on it, so I can play it whenever I want. Um, with my that's kind of the perk with um, Black Widow is you can play your ability upgrades whenever you'd like. So I could roll my three rolls and then oh I landed a mini alt, well I can upgrade it real quick. Exactly. Or if I miss a roll and I only roll three sixes, and I can upgrade it and get get uh, her micro alt. So were you? So the good thing is theirs i can hang on to those um but i do want to spend a covert ops and what covert ops is going to allow me to do is dig through my deck for those upgrades um so the idea here is if i get one it has to go in my hand um if i don't get one then i can put the cards back and search the deck i thought it filled you if one, if an upgrade is in the the three that you reveal, you have to mm -hmm. put them back in any order. And if there's um, if there's not an ability upgrade, then you reveal those cards, and then you can search your deck for an ability upgrade and put it in your hand. Put an ability upgrade in your hand for play. So that's if you spend it, um, or you look at the top three cards. If none of them are ability upgrades, you may reveal them and search your deck for an ability upgrade. Show it to your an opponent and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Yeah. yeah. So I either play one from my hand or I, t I show you three. And if so it's you, not an ability. So since, since we're doing co-op, you can show the three immediately, yep. but regularly yep. it'd be a, a hidden look. And if, if there's an ability upgrade within those top three, then they don't get revealed and they get put back in an order that you choose. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take the top three. And we got... Oh, there is one in there. Mm -hmm. 
Ensemble, triple up and infiltrate. Um, I think what we do is because we want to get these out. <clears throat> um, I want to put it. I think I'm going to put it in my hand. Mm -mm. You put no. it back in any order. Put it back so, in any order. You so, got it. Okay, yeah. so we're going to put it on top. Yep. That's ready for next turn. Um, so let's go ahead and UCP. I'm going to save my soul wild. Why don't we let's just roll? We'll roll. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's roll. All right, let's see what we get here. I think I'll, I'll use my active ability to upgrade my defense. Really? We got sixes. We got a fiver, four, and a one. <clears throat> With two sixes. We don't get anything. One we do, so I think we keep one, roll the rest. I'm trying for that uh, infiltrate? Well, hmm. yeah, let's keep the sixes. Let's roll the, let's just see what we get here. All right, it's not what we wanted. Four, five, six. Keep that. That's, uh, that's still going to be iffy here. I do have a try, try again. Four, five, five, six. Um. Let's do ditch the six. And one more roll, right? I do not know. I thought that was the third, but that was the third. I that was, was the also third. reading something else, so it was the third. Okay. Um did you need a try-try again? I got it one more time. Okay. One CP. I minus, right? Okay, one CP. Roll up to five. We're going to roll these. If we get a large straight, great. If not, hopefully we get a couple eyes. What we're looking for. We got a couple eyes. Hey, hey. Whittle's got one locking it in. So we gain one CP. Uh, we deal six and then we add one damage per ability upgrade. I'm going to quick throw down my avatage for one CP. Okay. Um, and then so that's seven be defendable. Six plus one, so that is seven defendable. All right. I will roll for him. He's got three dice for his defense roll. That one's cocked. Uh, on on a six, heroes lose one gold, and then he prevents one for each vortex. There are no vortexes. So he'll take the full damage. We'll lose one gold. So we are down to nine. He's down to five. <clears throat> And then in phase two, um, I spent one CP for my ability upgrade already. Oh no, something has happened with your uh, oh. thing. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. 
Technical we... difficulties. OBS is crashing right now. Oh no. Oh no. Did you have anything for main phase two? Uh, let's see here. Main phase two, I have two CP. Um, no, we're good. We don't uh -huh. need to buy anything. Nothing like that. OBS is still trying to crash. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hickama says that your singing is making this Monday night special. Just to let you know. Good. Uh, all right, so Dreg Lackey's turn. He's going for one swipe, two vortexes, and a chaos to do the master's bidding of five undefendable damage. No good. All right, so that's one swipe, one chaos. So he's looking for two vortexes and two more rolls. Like that. Hey. Good job, Dreg Lackey. Five undefendable damage. Straight. To uh, uh, roll one, undefendable. What? Roll one though. You gotta unroll one. Uh, roll two. <clears throat> Sorry. Here's here's what? roll. Here's roll two. Dare so wild it. Mm. That's five damage. That brings me down to. Eight. Eight. And your salve heals for two. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oof to. Gross. All right. And we're still struggling with the OBS. It going? I'm streaming now. Uh, you want to share it in the Discord? Oh yeah, I should probably do that. Huh? It'll help no, me at least. <laughs> yeah, it'll help you. Try that. Hey. Oh. Oh no! Stop, Cloud Art. Clicking the wrong things. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, We're back. Okay, so we are now back to my turn. Which mm -hmm. starts off with the Dark Druid with First Strike. Here we go. First Strike. Uh, we're looking for three Vortexes. Uh, so first, his passive, he does potentially change form again. It's true. Let's roll that. He will change form. He's a burr. Burr. Here we go. Zero Vortexes. Zero Vortexes. Woo. There's one. There's two. Another failed. Oh, man. You're what, welcome. What a day. Maybe you should roll for all of the things. Yeah. Where were these rolls like two other DTAs ago? Yeah. All right. Draw a card. Thunder Wheel 2. Neat. More defense stuff. 2-2. Two, two. All right. Let's roll. Let's, let's take this dude out. I'm excited to see your rolls. <laughs> You're gonna do twenty undefendable damage. Oh, uh, that's or. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's just kind of a basic hammered. But you do throw no matter what, so potentially that's one plus damage. That's true. He's in bear. He retaliates damage in bear. That's, that's lethal. It's a basic lethal. That's true. And I could potentially make it undefendable. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> what is... Mmm. Uh, okay. But, you know, that's... That's <laughs> early for easy. that. That's too easy. Let's <laughs> let's keep one of these. And see what happens with this. We're not playing it same difficulty at all. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we got... We got these two things um uh, ooh, chain lightning uh, could potentially what's your dice count 
three, uh, two, three, two, one. Three, three, uh, standard, three, two, standard four and five are the worthy. One through three is the hammer, and then six is the thunder. Thunder, sure. feel the thunder. Oh, okay. I I should go for chain lightning because I have boom boom here. So oh, there you go. If Can't we, uh, well, I mean, we can, it's but. <laughs> But it's fine, because if we fail this by not getting at least one more hammer, because we get two worthies, then we hit Mighty Summon again. Yep. That's that's pretty pretty baller. Wow. That's... Or we could do that, and not... <laughs> I do have a soul while. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I've got two CP. Um... I'm gonna. Let's see here. Um, I could probably if, if I if you're thinking of using a so wild. I was gonna do a try Let try me... again. Okay. Otherwise, you could use mine because I, I only have two CP, but I don't really see to play any of my other cards, and my upgrades are one CP. Okay. And that's the only other card that I would have. So. I'll I'll go for try try again then. Yep. And so it's you or a chosen teammate may reroll up to two dice, and it may be the same die twice or two different dice. So I will um, roll it one at a time and do this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I'll try rolling this one then too. All right. It's fine. <laughs> That's not yeah. necessary. So bottled lightning. Throw or retrieve Mjolnir up to two times. Um, and then game two <laughs> guard breaks. So I'm going to spend a guard break yep. at the start of this because... We can. Yep. <laughs> uh, a five, it doesn't happen. I'm going to try it again. Oh. A four, it also doesn't happen. That's kind of a bummer. But... I will throw, uh, and I'm going to throw this at your minion. Okay, so it's on him, takes one. It's on him, he takes one. And then I'm going to pull it back. Yep. So I get a electrokinesis. Then I gain two guard breaks. Do you want to spend those? Because you're... Um, just a little nap out of here. Uh, no, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, otherwise he would get that defense. Um, I'm coming in for lethal on him anyway. It would be more about yeah. potentially not taking damage. I think that's probably pretty important, so I'm going to... I will spend a guard break. And there we go. Undefendable. There it is. All right. Seven damage, then plus one per electrokinesis, and we got three of them. So that's ten undefendable damage to this guy. He gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we get All right, two, Thor. yeah, we get two uh, level one green looties. Right. That's what I forgot to do is shuffle those bad boys up. So yeah, to give me a moment. One water roll of one. Mm hmm. A plus one attack modifier, and a ten. Nice. A ten is heal two health. Nines and tens are good. All right, those are shuffled. Mm -hmm. I'll shuffle the rares after that. So let me roll my I die. That would be it. And yeah, we brought out the white one. That is a six. That was one CP. And another six. Two CP off that. Rolling in it. Yeah. All right, main phase two. I will not. Yeah, I won't. Won't sell a card to get Thunder Wheel. Yeah. Yep. That is my turn. Over to me. Over to you. <clears throat> Getting CP draw a card. We knew what it was. Mm hmm. Uh, but we are going to play our covert. Oh, uh, no. Oh, wait. 
Well, you know that at least two of the three aren't ability upgrades. Right. So I think the idea is to wait a couple turns. Uh, or you do it now because you know for sure that Oh, yeah, that's two right. of the three that's, aren't. That's that's what I meant. Yep. We do it now because <laughs> we know two of the three are not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. All right. So no then, upgrade. then you're able to reveal Sorry. those. No upgrade. Yep. And then you can no search upgrade. for an upgrade. Need a reader. I know what we're going for. <laughs> a there it is. Training. <laughs> we'll shuffle because we have to. All right. Okay, those are shuffled. That goes into my hand. We have five CP. <laughs> uh, so the first one we play is one CP. And then... Do I just go nuts? I'll just slam both. I think you that would give me that would give me one, two, three ability upgrades in play. Or could also that roll first. That's, God, that's oh man, mechanics, dude. Mechanics. <laughs> dude, we don't need to play them right away. Oh, that didn't work. Three, four, five, one, one. I have Widow's Gauntlets. I don't. I do have Infiltrate, which doesn't do anything right now, so we will keep two eyes. Espionage, or sorry, espionage. Let's see what the outcome of these is. Not hmm. what we wanted. That is Whittle's got once again. Um, but I am okay with keeping that. I don't have a safe roll outside of that. Um, so I will keep Widow's Gauntlets <coughs> turn two. Um, in that case, I will go nuts with my ability upgrades. I'm going to spend <sighs> all four of my CP. I'm wondering if you'd need to, because you're, you're getting in for the lethal. Oh yeah. Right sure. now. So six, like Maybe it's but better. I, but I, get, I, I know I you get, get the two card draw. Yeah, you get the card draw, which you'll get anyway if you even if you wait till next turn and then but you get them at turn, a discount. Hmm, I see what you're saying. It might be worth waiting. Yeah, just to optimize the CP since in the immediate it doesn't matter. Right. I see what you're saying. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, like we want to cycle our deck. We don't know what's but, underneath there. I shuffled it. Yeah. But it is ultimately, you know, your your choice, your character and stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'm gonna dump all my CP. Sounds good. Four CP. We're gonna upgrade that guy. We're gonna upgrade this guy. Um, that gives us <clears throat> gain one CP, so we get one back. We're going to deal six damage plus one per ability upgrade. You should draw your two cards. Draw two cards. One, two, try, try again and tip it. So oh, we're low cost. So we got the CP to do it. Um, <clears throat> and then add one to our attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't do my mythic. I get one back. My mythic. Is is red room training normally only one? So I think you paid no. one. You paid one for it. My last turn, though, right? No, that was that, that was, was, this, that was this turn. You're right. You're right. You're right. We're back down to one. Okay, so we're 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 caught up. All right, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Ten damage. That's a lot. Defendable. Yeah. All right. Let's see what he's got. Three dice. He steals the gold from us. Oh. Does not defend any other damage. They were down to seven gold? Down eight. to eight. Eight. 
In and phase then two. he takes a lot and loses. Uh, and then we get a Ooh. another level one green loot. Oh yeah. Ten again. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Nice. Mm -hmm. I got a thirteen. I got that gold back. You got the gold back. All right. All right, main phase two, we used our covert apps. Um, I have nothing else in my hand, so we are good. We're going to stop portal time. Uh, okay. I, I sort of feel, well, we, we have a lot of, we got a lot of level one things. I'm just going to go. Yeah, you're you're getting pretty stack. Well, I have, hmm. I have twenty health. I think maybe <laughs> I go for this level two now. Yeah, I think I think that's the. Funny. <laughs> I don't I don't want to have you like get forced into that. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Level two. What do we have? The Stained Pyre. Ooh. I really should start, like, remembering what these things are. And remembering... Some of them do. I do, and every time you flip it, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Stained Pyre. Click, 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 click. 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 Okay, Click. we're back. All right, um, <laughs> Stay in fire. <clears throat> Gain two gold and spawn a level two minion. Alternatively, receive three uh, undefendable <laughs> damage and explore an unexplored adjacent tile. Hmm. Hmm. I'm like okay with you taking that damage. <laughs> I yeah. I think I feel like a I level think you would two more damage. Yeah, I, th I think a level two dude would cause more damage than that. So sure. yeah, I will take the three. <gasps> And I will explore here and gain this salve. Ooh, big money salve. Nice. Healing too, baby. Mm. So good. Mm. What do we got here? Level one. A volcanic spout. A. Eh? Volcanic spout. Alright, so, we get one gold. One gold! Ka-ching! Ka-ching! Active player discards a positive status effect and receives two damage. Well, ooh, ooh. back down to 15. You win some, you lose some. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay, a... Oh, you know what? Uh, I'll okay when uh, when I had used the bottle lightning I was supposed to gain an electrokinesis oh, that's right. which that's would have right. put me at four so that'll just be the one that I lost and there we go alright a level one minion but please isn't stack limit three or no uh, stack limit is four it is four okay yep. yeah, we'll count as on alright you need a what a level what? a level one minion yep <laughs> Acolyte. Acolyte. Don't see him very often, if not ever. At least once. Well, on the plus side, he doesn't have first strike. Woohoo! 12 damage? That means he's dead. <laughs> that really, really, what that means is they're dead. No. <laughs> uh, Alright, CP card. A double up. <clears throat> hmm. Um, I will hang on to that for the immediate, and I'll roll. Um. It's a mighty summon. We don't 
really want that. Uh, if we get a three, it's Thunderbolt. That could potentially be lethal. <laughs> um, yeah, let's try for that. We got a got a so wild in hand, so that's a two, four, five, six. Reroll this two. Five. That's almost Odin Force. No. One. Okay. Uh, I will so wild. Change this one to a three. Two, three, four, five, six. Thunderbolt. Throw or retrieve Mjolnir. Okay, so we're going to throw Mjolnir to deal one damage. Yep. Uh, I triggered an ability with a six, so I gain an electrokinesis. I'm going to spend three electrokinesis to draw a card. Okay. Uh, nice. Then gain two electrokinesis. Um, then deal 10 damage. I'm going to spin the guard break and try to make it undefendable. It is undefendable. <laughs> and with this plus one <laughs> attack modifier, that's 11 oh undefendable God. damage. <laughs> <laughs> he dead. When he dies, the hammer comes back to me. When the hammer comes back to me, I gain an electrokinesis. Um... Uh, Thor. Thor. I... <laughs> I think I will spend the three electrokinesis <clears throat> to draw a card. It's oh. a bye bye Uh, okay. And then we defeat the Acolyte. And we get two... Two green level loot. one green loots. <laughs> oh. the... hey, everybody, this is the plan. Was to play characters yep. that... This is what we wanted. Because it feels good. Nine. Heal one. Mm. I got a fiver. One CP. Nice. I got a six. 20 is only a rare because it's a level one thing, which is unfortunate, right. but it's, <laughs> it still you feels know, good. It's still, we still got the nat 20. Rare. I didn't shuffle the rare deck. <laughs> Dug on it. All right. All right. I'll shuffle this uh, while well, it's your turn that I have to control part of. Okay, here we go. So up here, uh, where do you want to go? I have eight health, so I think I will go to the level one. One of these. Either, either one. Either one. <laughs> that gives us increase our salve. There we go. Hey. <laughs> now we heal for three. Yes. All right. Let's see where we headed. The stained altar. You like walked Ooh. past me and like, how's it going over here? I'm like, oh, fine. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing to see here. Somebody showed up and I freaked out. And lightning bolted him. Hope he was a bad guy. <laughs> uh, okay, so the uh, place that we're at. Uh, the what we, stained altar is the lower version of the stained pyre that we just had. So gain two gold and spawn a level one, or take two damage and explore something else. An unexplored adjacent tile, which you cannot do. So, yep. I guess it's a fight. Right, it's we gain fight two night. gold, and then we fight a level one. It's gonna be... Drum roll. <laughs> oh, lizard man. Lizard man. Got lots of health, but not first strike. Hey, hey, easy peasy. That means he's dead. <laughs> we turned the tables on that one. Yeah. All right. Game of CP, draw a card. Let's get in there. All right, we got hacked. That is one CP, so it would be free. I love that his attack is just chomp. Yeah. <laughs> Big lizard man. He's a gonna chomp. 
All right, I'm gonna play hacked because it's free. Uh, because of my active ability. You draw a card. I did. Off of red. Oh yeah, yeah. I did not. No, I did. Six it. We got an Alton. <laughs> yeah. All right, we can use our espionage or covert ops. I think that. Yeah. Be Why? okay. Why not? One. Whoop. Two. Ooh. Oh. Three. Alright, we'll put Whittle's Gauntlets in our hand. Nope. Shuffle Goes on top. What? Oh, that's right. Goes on top. I don't remember that. When it's not there. Yep. <clears throat> Got my rare so, card. So, lesson learned. Covered out first. Then play my upgrade. Then yep. draw. Yep. Then you'll draw into okay. the thing and then you can, yeah. Then you can play yeah. that and draw the next card. Ooh. Ugh. Ooh. Dang it. Next time. I want to know. <laughs> Next time. All right, we got nothing but dice manipulation cards, so we will uh, do what we do best and roll nothing but ones and twos. And <laughs> maybe some threes. All right, two, three, four, five. That is a small straight that I just leveled up. It's a time bomb, deal six. If you have at least three ability upgrades in play, we deal eight. Which you do. Um, Plus one because red room training. <laughs> Nine. Uh, if I keep that, two, three, five. Uh, we'll keep it. Let's roll. Let's try to get a large out of this. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. That's nothing. Oh yeah. Alright. All straight hack two. Um, chosen opponent is inflicted with the time bomb two second. We deal six damage. If you have at least three ability upgrades in play, you deal eight. And then like you said, with our red room training, that gives us one more. So we are doing nine. Defendable damage. I was just trying to look at my cards. Maybe it'd be worth playing something, but we'll keep our CP. So nine. Nine defendable. defendable. All right. He has one die for defense. He does nothing on Vortex. Great. He would hit back for two on a swipe. Swipey, no swipeys. All right. He takes nine. On to six. Mm-hmm. In phase two. Um, nothing but dice manipulators. A lot of covert apps. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Start of his turn because of time bomb. He rolls. He did not get a six, so time bomb Ooh. flips over. Take him down. <laughs> you only need one more... Uh, one more upgrade, right? To get the time bomb uh, to be at level one or at one seconds instead. God, I forgot about that. I think you need six. Uh, here it is. If you have at least six ability upgrades in play, place it on the one side. Yeah. I know she had that. One, one more, which you're going to draw next turn. Neat. Here we go. Uh, all right, so he is going for two swipes and a chaos. There's two swipes. And there's the chaos. All right, here we go. What do you got? So we roll a die, deal damage equal to the roll value, and inflict knockdown. Get knocked down no matter what. Okay. It is defendable damage. I didn't see it. What did you get? Oh, Three. Sorry. Three defendable Three. damage. Damage. You could full block this. I sure can. A sabotage two, I get. Um, I deal two back. Uh, before you do that, you do have potential rerolls. Oh my god. If you have at least four ability upgrades in play, you may reroll any of these dice. Uh, so we block two. Might as well reroll. Can't hurt. We roll these two. 
All right, it's still two. So okay. he takes two. He takes two. You defend two and of the three. Defend two. So you take a whole one. Ugh. This lizard man chomped you for one. And really, he probably like grazed your arm a little bit, and then you stumbled yeah. backwards and fell over. Uh, yep. Hence the knockdown. I knock did a little cartwheel, and I didn't land the cartwheel. Yep. Tripped over a rock, hit my head. <laughs> In phase two. Uh, that's it for him. That's his turn. All right. Up to me. Um, hmm. All right, I'll. I think I'll leave this for you, and I'll go over here. Yep. Or, or. Let me take that one. You take the cheese, because then you can go for that. Do we want to take the level three or no? Got to sell. Potentially, it's probably gonna so be. If you go, if you go down. I go right. Okay. Go up. Okay. If you go right, oh yeah, it's the same thing. Never gonna really carry. Well, may as well get the cheese first since. Right. Right. Yeah. All right. So I will. I will go. I will go down. Yep. And I will throw my face directly into a lonely shrine. Ow. <laughs> that kind of worked out. <laughs> What's this shrine doing here? Thor would do that. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen this tile before. Ah, oh, should have had you go here. <laughs> Bummer. Yeah. Uh, actually, maybe not because three or less. Uh, let's see. All right, so no bonus. You may play an ability upgrade card from your hand that costs two or less for free. Yeah, well, I don't have any anyways. I happen to have two of them. Mm. Uh, so we'll throw Odin Force 2 out for freezies. Yeah. Since we can potentially hit that. And we'll keep the defense card in hand. Cool. That, yeah. I like. All right. Level 1 minion me. Yeah, okay, here we go. Oh, i got to move all this stuff. Okay. Oh. It's yeah. the Lost Swordsman. Lost Swordsman. Okay. He's got On Guard. And 11 health. On Guard. On Guard. Uh, and not first strike. So, we'll gain CP. Draw a card. What status effects? Um... All right, we have one CP. Uh, let's 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 roll. Maybe double up during the thing. Okay, so that's Odin Force Two that we just upgraded. <laughs> so we'll do that. Yeah. Uh, it's deal six damage and roll five dice. And do lots of things. Okay. Uh, on double these, gain a CP. On double these, throw or retrieve Mjolnir. You may re-roll up to five of these dice. Mm. So if I can get a six with this, then I gain an electrokinesis. All right, uh, so I will gain a CP and throw or retrieve Mjolnir. I am going to spend a CP for double up to draw two. Oh, nice. Um... All right. He's got 11. Okay. We're going to throw. He takes one. Yep. I'm going to pitch 
what status effects to retrieve to gain an electrokinesis. Uh, then we'll be dealing six damage plus one per electrokinesis for eight more damage, which he can defend. All right. Eight defendable. He's going to roll three die. He's looking for a little bit of everything. Yep. A four prevents one. On a two and a six, uh, he deals two. All right. So he prevents one and deals two. Ooh, ooh. So I take two down to 14. Uh, he's preventing one of the eight. Six, seven, eight. So he gets hit for seven. He's down to three. All right. Then main phase two, I will use the Bifrost. That's my promo card. So we're looking for a six. What do we have here? Come on, six. It's a one. I draw a card. A one. <clears throat> Better D. Better D. Um, one CP. I'll do a, a getting paid for two CP. Use those two CP for Thunder Wheel 2. And that'll be it. All right. Let's have him attack. He's now. up. I could have could have like pitched everything to throw enough to oh, kill him, yeah. but nah. He's only a level one. Yep. All right. He's looking for all swipes. We're good at that. Yep. Just a three of them. The basicest uh, roll. There's one more. And that's it. So he is doing on guard for six damage. Six, defendable. Six defendable damage. All right. Well, since I upgraded Thunder Wheel to Thunder Wheel 2, I roll four dice. And for every two hammers, I can throw or retrieve Mjolnir. On uh, Worthy, I prevent two. And then if I had Electro, or if I had a Thunder, I would gain Electrokinesis. So I prevent two of the six, and so I take four and throw the hammer. So he takes one from the hammer throw. I take four ooh, 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 ooh. from the attack. Man, he went from 20 to 10 real quick. Yeah. Yeah, not super thrilled about that, but maybe we can okay. get back up there. All right. And I think that's it. Yeah. Could. Nah, um, not yet. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Back to me, CP card. Ooh, Widow's Gauntlet. What? Um, yeah, right. Who knew? Um, is it worth spending? Yeah, let's spend the CP rather than... Oh yeah, I don't have any more covert ups. So, one CP to play that card. Might as well. Doesn't matter when we play it. Hmm. Got enough CP to do everything. Oh, I gotta spend two to get knocked down. Now I kind of want to take that back for plus one CP. <laughs> <laughs> so we're okay. going to take that, that that action back. Okay. All right. Um, we'll play it so, if we need it. Sounds gonna... good since you didn't uh, draw your card yet yep. from that. Yep. Okay. So then let's go ahead and roll. We're looking for... Oh, he's got to he's gotta roll his bot. Oh, no. It's in the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, well. so I guess you upgrade Widow's Gauntlet then. <laughs> PCP, draw a card. Uh, double up. Alright, let's go ahead and just deal the damage here. Just hit him for crap ton. <laughs> so we're gonna yeah, we're gonna gain a CP. We're gonna deal seven. 
Uh, plus one for each upgrade. One, Is that that one? So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage defendable. Plus one from red room training. <laughs> 14 damage. <laughs> Insight. Maybe that's why I kept this. I was like, oh, maybe this, maybe I should just go like this, put on 14, and then just sleep. <laughs> <laughs> whatever works yeah um <laughs> all right all right uh 14 dependable here we go he has one roll he gets the wrong thing he takes 14 <laughs> and is now a purse all right yep. <laughs> so Grabbing some boots we get a green level one treasure Two. <laughs> yeah, all right. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Two yeah. is a plus one attack modifier. I got 15. Two gold. Two gold. Cha ching Up to 14. All right. Uh, main phase two. I don't. I have nope. literally dice. Yep. Um, oh, that was. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. Yep. No, go ahead. Um, I have three CP. How many cards do you have? I have six. Nice. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. So back over to me. I'm going to run and grab something to break up everybody. Okay. It's fine. Probably won't have to roll for this guy anyway. Uh, okay. So I gain a CP and a card. He is worthy. Change the value of any one of your dice to a four or a five. Neat. Uh, okay. That's that's pretty cool. All right, we got two CP. He has the thing. This would be a great time for Mighty Summon 2, I think. It would get the guard breaks and heal, and then he would take four damage because I yank the yank the hammer back. So let's let's do that. Let's make sure we get that as best we can. So keep a six and a five. Not keeping a hammer because they're easier to get. Uh, yep, there we go. All right. Boom. Mighty Summon 2. Technically, I guess in this instance, because I have the Worthy card, uh, it would have been a little safer to keep the hammer uh, because I'd be able to change the hammer to a Worthy and not the other way around. Uh, but... Odds are this was better to make that happen. Okay, so gain two, guard break. Bloop, bloop. Heal three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back to full health. Yes. Uh, retrieve Mjolnir, which deals four collateral damage to the player I retrieved it from, which is enough to defeat the Lost Swordsman. Yes, when I pull back a hammer, I get an Electrokinesis, and since I activated an ability... Uh, or an offensive ability that utilizes a six, I gain another electrokinesis, puts me at four, and he is defeated. So we get a green loot. I'll put that there for when Blender gets back. And seven. Seven is two CP. Oh yeah. We're starting to starting to drop a little on the CP. All right, so Indomitable will. <clears throat> I I feel like. I'm not going to need this, this game. Um, but I'm too scared to get rid of it. So, um, we've already dropped one of our status, or two of our status removals, actually. So I don't want to get rid of a buy, for sure. Better D is probably pretty good for potentially getting something else. He is worthy. Yeah, real good. Um, so I think I will just hold with that could draw a card with these but it's it's not gonna immediately matter so i will hold off on those uh blunder you get a level one loot because we yanked nice. mjolnir from the lost swordsman and he did not like that so he <laughs> he was scared back to the discard pile all right there he goes level one loot rolling into 19. Ooh, yeah, man, common. Let's get those cards happening. <laughs> oh, 
There. Oh. I didn't grab. Uh, the, I didn't grab the sleeves. Okay. Did you have a main phase too? Uh, no. I am. I am done. So. Okay. We are up to you up here. Where are you heading? Uh, what do we got? Oh, uh, bottom right. Heading down here. Yep. Okay. I did. Uh, I did hit the mighty summon two and healed three. And got the nice. the guard breaks, and I've got a full. I've have fully kitted out. I am fully <laughs> kitted out. Um, so I will probably go after that level three thing yeah, up there. You, you got it. You're fine. Yeah, solar flare. Okay, solar flare. Right here. <clears throat> Okay. I wonder if I can, like, shortcut all these things. Probably not. All right, so you have moved down here to Solar Flare. We gained one gold. Woohoo. And then discard one positive status effect and gain blind. Boo. One good thing I ain't got none, but unfortunately we are going to gain blind. <clears throat> and then a level one minion for you. Level one. Here we go. No whammies. We draw in two. Satyr. 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 Niner. Man, you would just like throw me Millionaire and you'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you activate your Widow's Gauntlets and he's dead. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, oh, that's, that's that's you. Let's. All right, here we go. Let's get him. CP card. You have seven cards. Um, because I have two CP. <laughs> wow. Holy moly. Now <laughs> uh, we're gonna s spend. No, uh, we don't want to double up. We could waste cards. Hmm. Could we though? <laughs> could we buy or transfer this blind? Um, I don't think the transfer is necessary. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't think we he's living. And in Babai's instant, so we don't need to worry about that. So I think we just roll and then see what we need to do from there. <laughs> yeah. <That's> awesome. <laughs> I am. I am already having more fun than <laughs> yeah. Santa. All right, one, two, three, six, six. Um, huh. I'm okay with that. Is it a Spy situation? Uh, it's a spy game, which is actually pretty good right now. Um, doesn't kill, oh, would kill, I wouldn't, no, I'd do seven damage. Uh, but then it puts, is that one that puts a time bomb on him? No, it's covered apps, which would, is not a, not a bad idea. Um, and then gain some agility, which is not a bad idea. So, the most they're going to do on their defense and damage. They're gonna do that's, damage. That's collateral though, right? Uh undefendable. Six undefendable. So oh. seven undefendable. Undefendable. Okay. Yeah. Um you need me to throw my hammer. Uh if you, if I mean if you want to throw it twice, but that's that's three cards. Well, I have a stack of um <laughs> electrokinesis. Um, okay, hold on here. So, if I keep this and I try to roll a ton and an eyeball, which is no, I kind of want the agility, like the agility is still, yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep it roll one, okay. I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna spend three electrokinesis. To draw a card? Yep. Okay. Wow. <laughs> um, Ooh, 30 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Dis discard two electrokinesis to prevent all incoming damage. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and yep. your mythic. That's fine. That's fine. It's yeah. Small, yeah. This, this is fine. Um, I would have to discard three cards. At least, at least three. 
and then you'd gain Mjolnir back on death, so it's at least two more electrokinesis. Um, if you if you want me to, I can do that. Well, I'm not worried about because the most he's gonna do, he's gonna do five, six, seven. The, what's going to happen is if they get a turn, they'll either die by my bomb or... I thought it's not putting a bomb out. No, my defense could put a bomb out. Oh, I see. So then would kill him or I would just get a turn and then I'd kill him anyways. Yeah, because the, uh, bomb, so the bomb wouldn't trigger until his next turn. <clears throat> Which you would probably kill him before that anyway. Um... But then I gotta spend two CP to get this blind off and make this happen. I have seven health, so they could potentially lethal me. Might have to. I think it might be worth for you to spend your cards. Okay. To get them down to six, so three damage. Sorry, sorry, twice. Seven damage. Yeah. All right. Seven health. Seven. Okay. So I'm discarding better D to throw Mjolnir at him to hit him for one. That's one. I'm discarding Babai to pull it back. Yep. Gives me electrokinesis, and then yep. I discard Indomitable Will to throw it at him again. Bring him down to seven. Yep. Perfect. I'm keeping in vulnerability, and he is worthy in hand. And I'm going to come in and gain my covert ops. Sorry, I got to take blind off. For 2 CP, it's in action. Boom, boom. B2. Blind off. We gain covert ops. We gain agility. We deal 6 plus 1, 7 undefendable damage. That's enough. Dead. When he's you defeated, get me on your back. my hammer comes back, which gives me an electrokinesis. I'm at three again. And we get a green loot again. We roll for loot. I got a five. I got my CP. Let's go. Fourteen. One gold. Yes. I hope, I hope in the future of DTA content some sort of gold implementation to damage. Like, I, I, I want <laughs> gold to be something other than the shot. <laughs> uh, that'd be... Or buy potions. Buy potions? Like, buy salves? Like, I think that would be... That could be a... Yeah, enjoyable. that could be an interesting thing. Mm -hmm. Especially... I, I feel like um, it would be too complicated to have gold... You'd be able to spend gold during the game because... Sure. Um, since everybody gets the gold, you would then have to start keeping track individually <laughs> of gold, and that's just more work that makes sense. to yeah. do. Yeah. Uh, um, main phase yeah. two. Do I play my covert apps now? You could. Let's see why not. Yeah, I mean, I do have. I have six cards. Would a seven be okay if I had to keep it? Um. I don't keep it. So it you, it would go on top if there's if the upgrade is in the top three. If not, it goes to your hand and you just play it immediately. Oh, it will draw you another card. I can't play it though, unless I spend the CP, right? Right. It'd be. But it, it would be one because you haven't played one. an upgrade yeah, this okay. turn. No, that makes sense. All right. But but then it will make you draw mm. a card to put you at seven again. So you still will have to deal with discarding a card or selling That's a card. Fine. That's fine. Okay. At this point, what's left? Like, oh. baton strike and... All right. All right, so that's, that's the route we're going to take. So let's so look your, at the last two ability upgrades we have here. Your large straight, probably. Yeah, so my large straight... Um, gain agility, deal seven, blah, 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 blah. So we just gain subvert, um, gain covert ops and agility, which right now at this point. It does make it so I think there's only it's... like one combination of things that makes you whiff. 
if you have right the... yeah i was gonna say it's like one less failed attempt yeah the time strike when this card is played force yeah it just forces their hand so and then it does one additional damage per so let's get vengeance into our hand okay and then we gotta shuffle first almost to a full stack And there's not going to be any such thing as a two-second bomb. Yep. Well, that's already that's happening. Because you have six upgrades. That's right. That's right. Um, so that's in our hand. So now we'll just spend the one CP to upgrade. Boop. And and draw a card. Draw a card. Vegas, baby. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Uh, five, so we gained three. Three CP. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. <laughs> that worked out okay. Yeah, we're good. I was going to double up, but no. no. Yep. We're good. Okay. Back up here. <laughs> this is, this is nuts. <laughs> My turn. I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah. Gain the salve. We Only immediately... I could heal. Yeah. We immediately get the, uh, the level two loot. Our first level two loot. Here we go. Let's get those 20s. 12. Hey, me too. So we both gained us one gold. Yay. <laughs> Puts us up to 18. Fortunately, if we don't get any more gold going through the boss room, I'm pretty sure it gives us three, which will put us to 21, which is the next threshold because we would round up to 25 at the end of the thing. So that's mm -hmm. good. Uh, okay. So, level three. Our only level three tile here in the first first scenario. And we've got the Twisted Forest. Ooh. Is so twisted. Your beard is so twisty. Okay. Um... <laughs> All right. So here we go. Gain three gold. All right, well, that's that. Yeah. You 21. and a chosen teammate are inflicted with Entangle. Um, oh, I guess I'll choose you. Me? Yeah. All uh, right, thanks. Then can't you both... Can't choose me on here? Oh, no. <laughs> then you both receive one damage per positive status effect you have. Max of three. Uh-oh. Um... I do have six take... positive status effects, so I'll take three. <laughs> I take one. And then uh, level three minion me. Ooh, here we go. One, two. Big boy. Two. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, a fierce hydra. Fierce hydra. Oh, man. I already discarded what status effects. <laughs> right? That was that was the Hydra Cheese card. Mm hmm Set up. Begin with three heads in play. Represented by chaos. These count as status effects. Okay. Okay, so his unique defense. If your health is reduced to zero while heads remain, remove one head and reset your health. This applies even when attacked with an ultimate ability. So the reason that this is a problem for us here uh, is that even though he basically has, what, 32 health, um, yep. you can only hit him in eight increments. So even if I hit him for 16, I only remove one head. Yep. So that's that's rather unfortunate. Uh, okay, Th this is where if you had since they are treated as status effects, here's a little here's a little strat for you. If you use what status effects to remove all status effects tokens from a chosen player, this card somehow eliminates all the other heads, and then you only have to hit him for eight, and then he's done. You want me to quick? Double up? 
So I'll go over my hand and sell whatever I got if that's the case. Uh, what status effects is a main phase card? So it wouldn't matter. True. It's fine. It's true. This will be fine. Maybe, maybe it may be on my turn. CP card. Triple up. I got five CP. Let's see what happens. I'll spend two of it for triple up. A one. Ooh. A two. A three. A three. Because Guardian Brawn heal four damage. Or heal four. That's cool. Um, three health left. And the Twice as Wild isn't going to be that necessary because... Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'll spend two for Thunderbolt two. Get that upgraded. Uh, the entangled I get. I have to pay. Was that the pay a CP for each roll after the first one? Uh, or is that the you only get two? Check out my cool status screen. Um, yeah. Bam. Entangled. A player afflicted with this token gets one fewer roll attempts during their next offensive roll phase. Okay. So it's just, yeah, you just lose one. You don't have to pay for it. All right. So two roll attempts. Let's go. I don't need that. What was I going to transfer it? It, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Um, I'm Thor. We're fine. Yeah. I'm going to re-roll this two. So three. All right. Um, thankfully, he is worthy. So this three, change the value of any one of your dice to a four or five. This three will become a four. And then that's two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Uh, which is going to be this costs one CP for that. That's going to be the Thunderbolt two. Throw a retrieve mule near, gain two electrokinesis, deal twelve damage. Uh, so I will spend my three electrokinesis first. Draw into Vegas, baby. Okay. Throw mule near. He takes one. Gain two electrokinesis, then he, I deal twelve, which is going to bring him to zero. And his health is reduced to zero, while heads remain. Remove a head, reset his health. Yeah, because yep. all, all the damage would happen at once. Yep. So yep. And then he goes back to eight, and he loses that. Um, I lose this entangled because the end of the phase. Um, six. Seven. Wow, he's coming in for twelve right now. All right, so we're gonna use Vegas, baby. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Neat to gain one Welcome. whole CP. Dip it to a two. Uh, two would also be one CP. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that puts me there. I need another CP. Oh, it feels bad. Um, I have nothing but dice manipulation cards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to sell Helping Hand. Could sell the Twice as Wild, but I think that we can recover. CPs. All right. Could I? Okay, hold on, sir. I was just wondering, could I? I could transfer a chaos to me, right? Is there a status effect? Almost said we have to worry about. I think so. Yeah. They count as status effects. They just, it wouldn't do anything for you. Well, it's eight damage, and they can't defend it. Yeah. <laughs> Be a cool way to take out a minion. Uh, if oh, transference is a main phase card, isn't it? Right, right, or, uh, right. Yeah. Okay, so nothing you can do to reduce the the heads right now, right? 
Mm, no. Okay. Other than just change your dice. All right. It is his turn then. He needs the he needs the double chaos. Ooh. Do you have Mjolnir or is it? So? Uh, it's on on him. He he has Mjolnir. So he's looking for two chaos. Here we go. Zero chaos. Zero chaos. One chaos. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. At, At the, the con conclusion of your yeah, offensive roll phase, roll one dice. Um, on a chaos, you can grow a head back. Yeah. That's eight health. He's going to heal for eight. But he doesn't. But he doesn't. Yes. All right. All right. Then it is your go. Uh, where are you headed? Uh, do I... Mm. That's a tough choice. I'm, first strike scares me right now. Um, but I have enough dice manipulation to make them kind of screw up a little bit. Yeah. I'm okay. Let's do two, let's do that level two. Okay. We got the portal open. Woohoo! I think Jeez. we should try to have you go into that. I've got yeah, three. Give I've got three salves. Uh, okay, we're in level two here. Our salves do five. Um. Two, yes, our cells yep. now do five. And you do have the opportunity to use a cell before first strike. I do, I do. A lonely statue. Oh, the souped it's up version. It's a good one. Hey, hey. Oh, hang on, I gotta get it out. For the viewers. Gotta do it for the viewers. For the viewers! Okay. All right, uh, search your deck for an ability upgrade card that costs two or less and put it into play, then shuffle your deck. Boom. Okay. <laughs> uh, Baton Strike, we are a full stack of upgrades. Thanks, Dice Throne. Then you shuffle and you draw a card. I draw a card. Yeah, yeah. Dang, I haven't had no attack modifiers yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cut it in half. We're gonna deal a card. Huh? Twice as wild. All right, I think I have every dice manipulation card you could possibly have. All right. Well, now you get a level two minion. All right, here we go. Level two. Yeah, our first level two minion since I skipped mine. Let's scoot you this way. No, you're left. I'm right. Here we go. First strike, trickster. Yep. It health. I suppose he needs a CP dial. He's one of few that needs it. Uh, he doesn't do any damage based on CP. So. Oh yeah, he just steals it. it yeah, it, it probably yeah. isn't going to matter. But the first strike does. It certainly does. Um, before he does his thing, do you want to spend a salve to heal five? He's hitting with undefendable. It is only four. And then potentially steal CP or possibly have you discard a card. Do I want to sell? Yes, I want to sell. Okay. That is five health. Mm hmm. Do I want to double up? No, no. I don't need to do it. That's all I can do. All right. He's going for it. So we're Here looking we for a swipe, two vortex, and a chaos. 
A swipe, two vortex. Oh. I got my fart button ready. Here it is. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work on the scene. No! I worked so hard to get it to work. No chaos. Extreme. One chaos. Oh, no. Of course. Although, if you um, feel like manipulating that to... Maybe chip that down to a fiver. If you do that, it saves you four damage. Yep. We'll tip it. All right. One CP. He whiffs. Whiff. He does nothing. It is your turn. <laughs> right, here we go. He card. Wow. Where are all my attack modifiers? <laughs> Alright, because we can, we're just going to double up. Oh, do I double up now? No, let's roll and then we'll see what kind of dice we need. So we need to do 8 damage. Okay. <laughs> let's um, do a basic. If you, if you can do 11, you guarantee the kill. He can potentially prevent oh, you three. Got it. Yeah. Right. We get two rolls. I want to get can't get rid of it. Can't Two rolls for it. Widow's Gauntlet. You got this. Yep, we got this. Or all eyes. Wow. And it's not supposed to happen. Well, I mean... Keep one and two. Three. Heaven. And two. Not yeah. bad. Yeah. Oh my lord. Game. Roll him again? Uh, that was second roll. It was. Oh, no. Um. Yeah, I could twice as wild. That doesn't do anything. I twice as wild. Six it. If you twice as wild, you can Widow's Gauntlet too. <clears throat> or I could just grapple twice well twice as well yeah it would give me what it's going be cheaper if I do six it um, I would gain a CP which six it is one CP so I'd really be playing six it for free gain an agility deal seven it would kill him wait which which thing they both would kill um so if I do if I do twice as wild Right? Mm hmm. If you do Widow's Gauntlet, he gets a chance to defend. Still kills him, anyways. Um. We we'll try, try again. Does, but I think we just, I think we just do twice as wild. Does Spy Game get you there? Not, not quite, right? Uh, it's one. six undefendable, six, seven. So you'd be, you'd be one that away. Get me there. I cannot yeah. help in that instance unfortunately okay so then we will twice as wild for our batons i think it's the cheapest rel right now <clears throat> we have a so wild that wouldn't do anything could try try again for one CP. i mean then you're potentially getting it for one instead of three But if you don't, then you're getting it for four <laughs> instead of three. Right. Let's just we'll do th we'll <laughs> we'll do three, uh, one two three, and then twice as wild. So that'll just give us the two batons we need. <clears throat> Widow's gauntlets. Yield comes off. Gain a CP. Boop. Deal seven plus one per upgrade, so that is seven plus eight. That is fifteen damage plus red room training is sixteen damage. Defendable. I'll roll for him. Uh, he did prevent three, <laughs> but yeah. he's still he's still super he's dead. Still, he's he's still gone. Super dead. A blue right. loot. Blue. We get. Come on. I have a two. I don't need damage modifiers. 
I thought you were yeah. just saying, where are all my damage modifiers? I'm on my cards. I got a four. I also have a damage modifier. Plus two. <laughs> oh boy. That'll help with this Hydra that I overhit for every time anyway. Right. Uh, main phase two. I have three CP. I'll double up. Let's just get some of these. Uh, it's instant. Oh, I got a card here. Um. You well. You you, you still have what status effects in your deck, right? Yes. Yes. Yep. Hmm. I could triple up. I could. Tr How much is what status effects? Uh, it costs two. Play it. Hmm. I could fish for it. Let's do one. Let's do at least one. So we will double up for. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> Ensemble. Um. Transfer a head, but it doesn't matter. Unless he can do eight damage in the next turn, which is pretty likely. Right, yeah. Um, let's do that. Okay. Transfer a chaos, transfer a chaos to me. Okay. You they have. down to one head. You have a Hydra head. <laughs> I am holding a Hydra head. And then. Zero CP, so I can't do anything. All right. All right. Back to me. Gain CP. Draw a card. Lightning Rod 2. Where's that small straight here? Your board's starting to look like mine. Yeah. This is deal 7. If your opponent has Mjolnir, deal 9 instead. Otherwise, gain Just Electrokinesis. This is throw or retrieve, gain electrokinesis, deal nine. That just so it gives you the <laughs> option to throw it if you want to. Yeah. But then it just deals it, nine. It does. Right. Yeah, it does all of the things there. Regardless. Um. <laughs> but I don't want to do that because I think I want to keep invulnerability on deck. Um. Yeah. Oh, bummer. <laughs> Why can't I just hit for uh, seven okay, million? Never mind. Yeah, I was gonna say I could, I could, I could make mythic flip for two, two one second bombs. Hmm. Maybe after if I <laughs> if I take this head down, and then you do it, and then on his turn they both blow. So does he, then he? So would, he has one more. He has one more phase after. Uh, chaos? Yes. So I'll have to get him to eight, or get him down. He'll lose the chaos, go back to eight. And then, if okay. he doesn't have a head, then and when we'll he flip. takes the, then he'll die. Right. Yep. Okay, cool. <clears throat> um. That's almost Odin Force. Let's let's try for that. Okay, fifty percent chance. Uh, if we whiff, or if we if we get a lightning bolt, we can mighty summon. Which will only deal four. Um, if we get a hammer, we get Odin Force. If we get a Worthy, then we have Asgardian Brawn to heal four. Bummer. No. Oh. Alright. I have zero CP. It's fine. We'll just heal four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't want to. I don't want to 
lose any of those. Yeah, that's just. That's what just... if you? What if you? Uh, I mean, you could retrieve Mjolnir and draw. Yeah, but the then electric. I'd be pitching one of these, and then. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I still would. I guess I could. Twice is wild, but. I think I'd rather just. Even then, what's what's one damage or what's. Yeah. I mean, you're just you're effectively it. just going for a uh, whole full card draw. Yeah. I'll just yeah I'll just go for invulnerability probably on the on the defense. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's me. A healing. His four. turn. His turn. Here we go. We're gonna do what we do best. Do uh, before before you roll. I'm. Oh. Do you. Do you want to use your flip? Or would you rather save it for the the last guy? No, let's do it now. Okay. I think this guy's more painful than a level four. Okay. That we've dealt with. So this is still so, your turn. But, yeah. At the end of my turn, you flip I and flip. put two two time bombs boom, on. Boom. At level one. One second one second bombs. Okay. You end your turn. They're upkeep. They roll They're upkeep. for both of those. There we go. A one through five, it advances and blows up. On a six, they remove it. On a four, it blows up. So it's four. They damage. take four. Oh. You son of a monkey. Ugh. <laughs> what tip it? Uh can't. Right. Twice as wild. No. Twice, yeah. All right, they remove Can't one. Tire. That's okay. All right, so they're gonna they're gonna go ahead and roll. Okay. Looking for two chaos. There's one. There's zero. Oh. Oh, got it. Really wanted it. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. He's gonna do pluribite. Nine. Yeah, pluribite. He's biting with a plural of uh, head. Um, that's... All right. So that's nine damage. I will roll my Eight. defense. Thunder wheel two. Uh, I will prevent four of that and gain an electrokinesis. Um, six, Eight, nine, five. So that'd be five. Um, <clears throat> I could make it zero. I think f five is probably okay. I just healed four. Yeah, I'll take that. So I gain yeah. an electrokinesis and take five. <coughs> Alright. I hate that he's at four. <laughs> well, I could mighty summon and heal and retrieve it. Yeah, that mm -hmm. might that might be the play. Um Okay, so it is your turn. Where are you headed? Um I have eleven health. You have to yeah, I gotta join I think I gotta join you. It's four damage. Ah, that just hurts. I can yeah, I'm I'm fine with this guy. If you want to do right. something else. All right, well, I guess we go for the level two loot then. Okay. Level two loot. Here we go. Eight. Ooh, I draw A two one. cards. A one. I'm gonna hit someone really hard soon. I drew into chain lightning and samezies. Nice. All right, so that's that. A level two. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Spin to win. Spin to play. Catacombs. All right. I like cats. This should be fine. Coleman cats, no big deal. 
But let's see if that's the truth. Draw three cards and then discard them. You may choose to pay one CP per card to put those cards back on top of your deck in any order. Oh no, I don't have any CP. I'm just going to draw and waste them. Time to discard three cards then. Oh my god. Uh, there goes my samesies. There goes my get that out of here. Am I getting paid? Uh, Alright, they're gone. Get that out of here would have been good with that flipping Hydra. Right? Okay, a yeah. level two minion for you. Two. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ba Bam. Yokai. Yokai. Come back. Let's go through it off. Here we go. <clears throat> one and one. Or sorry, eleven and one. I get to hit first. Yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this guy steals health. That's the worst. Not gonna happen. Yeah. Just 11 damage. Uh, game CP. Draw a card. Have lots of cards. Fortunately, we're it's a position where I just roll. We need to do 11. 14 damage. Yeah. You actually only need to do seven because your red room training gets it to eight and then your eight. modifiers get it to I 11. <laughs> All right, two, three, four, five. That is six. If you have at least, I'm sorry, it's a small straight act two. Two, three, four, five. Um, deal six. If you have at least three ability upgrades in play, deal eight. That is uh, lethal. No, it's not. Yep, because Red Room makes it nine, and then your plus two attack mm -hmm. modifier. Although he could steal health. Right, right. That'd be six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Okay. So. so just roll into that large straight instead. Yeah, I think that's what we do. So two, three, four, five. For a one or a six. It's the outside straight, too. That's neat. Hey, hey. There you go. Um, so let's go ahead and just do Vengeance 2. <clears throat> uh, gain an agility. Perfect. Deal seven damage. Roll all the dice. We're dealing eight right now with Red Room. Uh, nine and ten with the batons. On an eye, we inflict a bomb, which would now start at one second. And that's it. So we're doing eight, nine, ten defendable. Okay, so we'll start with that. Yep. He rolls three dice. He will steal one health. Yep, so... So that puts him to twelve. And you, you down one. You down one. And he takes ten. And you could you could bank on the bomb, or you could just do the two attack modifier. And... I think I I think I use the attack modifier. I think it's safe. Alright. I like that. Sounds good. Dead. You'll probably get another one right now anyway. Okay, so we get a blue loot from this guy. I have yet to have a bomb blow up, right? No, I had one. I had one, yeah. yeah. Uh, blue loot. Seventeen. Ooh. Three gold. All right. I got an eight. Oh my god, it's two cards. Stop with the cards. <laughs> I think in dice rounds, I've yet to cycle a full deck. I think we're going to get there. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cards. Wow. Got to sell three of them. But... <laughs> so after being attacked, 
So we'll keep that. Um, look at the top five cards of your deck. Reveal all ability upgrades. All right, that's one. Uh, I dare triple up. I don't have enough CP. I would if I sell I, that first. I think... I mean, at this point, what do you need from your deck? Like, is, is triple I need, up... I don't need anything. Is triple up worth even having right now? No. Because you, you've got so many cards. And maybe try, try again. Three. I think everything... No. I want to force my opponent to re-roll. That's kind of important, especially for one CP. We'll do those. Try, try again. Triple up and cunning. So three. CP. Wow, it's like a mini game in itself. <laughs> Yep. All right, we're good. Okay. Back to me. Gain a CP. Or Odinson. Draw a card. Man, look at all these. Look at all these bad boys. Um, I haven't hit Chain Lightning yet. We got four CP now. Need to end the turn with two so we can get one of these bad boys out. Um... I think it's going to be three and two. I think it's going to be lightning rod for this particular instance. 2 CP down. Okay. I have 3 electrokinesis. Let's go. Um, I was hoping to get Mighty Summon, so we'll keep the fives. Uh, or, or we just hit with Odin Force. That way, we guarantee knock this thing down. I'm at nine. He'll hit for six. Yeah. Okay. We'll do this. Uh, it's deal six, roll five dice. Yikes. Um, on this, gain a CP. Can re-roll up to five. We'll re-roll all three of these. Uh, no, we'll keep one of these was a hammer. Ha! There you go. Okay. So I will retrieve Mjolnir, gain a CP. Retrieve Mjolnir, which gives an electrokinesis. Uh, gain a CP. Um, then do six plus one per electrokinesis damage. So ten damage. So that's four, and then he loses a head, yep. and goes back up to eight. All right. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't do his passive last time. Oh, okay. Do you want to me... roll? Yeah, yeah roll. Let me just stir real quick. Oh, son of a. Okay, so I he has another head. head. Back. Yep. <laughs> Bummer, Reno. Uh, all right, I've got three CP, four electrokinesis. Gotta soul wild it. Uh, we couldn't have. Uh, is it? It is at the conclusion of the offensive roll phase. Uh, but you didn't have CP at the time. Yeah, well, that's true. All right. Um. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's just it. Yeah. His turn. Let's go. All right, he's rolling for uh, chaos. I do. What up? 
There's one. <coughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Wonder. Still one. There's two. Okay. Nine damage again. Coming at me. I uh, still don't want me to so wild it. Mm, that or two CP of my four CP, which I have. That that might be good. Yeah, I'd be good with that. Um, I will do that. So two CP. Boop, boop. So wild to whatever is on this side. A two. Okay. Failed roll. Failed roll. All right. Uh, so then at the conclusion of his offensive roll step. A roll phase. He rolls a dice. Rolls a dice. Oh, oh my lord. Did you really get a six again? Um, yeah. Helping hand. No, it's not an action phase, is it? Uh, it's, I think it, it would still be the roll phase. Because At after offensive roll of phase. Of the is, offensive rolls. Is the, um... Then like the damage phase or the the defense phase, defense roll phase. So it's not at the conclusion of the roll phase, the but a, but the offensive roll phase. So I think we can manipulate this one. Yep. Spend that CP. Here we go. Let's get on my screen. Let's show this, this beautiful roll of not a six, a five. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he still maintains only one head. Um, okay. And he had a failed roll. Failed thing. Perfect. All right. Oh, you know what? Actually. Uh, so he would roll for his ability. And then... Does he... I. Th does he roll for this before the ability triggers? No. He would trigger the ability. No. Yeah. Then he would do this. Then I would roll for defense. Yep. He would Yikes. do the damage, roll defense, and then, then it would be his turn to roll for a head. Uh, no, I think, I think uh, he would roll for the head before I do defense. Because that would be the defense roll phase. After the offensive roll phase. So he locks in ability. Locks in the ability. Rolls for the head. The I roll for defense. Hmm. But he doesn't... I don't know. I don't know if that head would add to the... I don't think that head would add to the damage. No, I... In my mind, I think it's it's... At the conclusion of offensive, I'm reading it as is like the def the defense is included in that offensive role. Yeah, so you, hmm. we we do everything, then roll for the head. Yeah, I could see it being either way. So, so he has I'm a fine. Like like, does he, do we give him the chance to revive? Like let's say we take the last head out. Mm. I don't I'm know. Sure. Either way, we're he's skipping both, so it it is right. hopefully a moot point at this time. Um, all right, that's his turn. It is back to you. Back to me. Back up here. I have one option. Oh, uh, you have two options. <laughs> you could go here, uh, or you could join the fight. <laughs> you, uh. you can clear everything else out and. <laughs> Gain some extra scenario points. Yep. Um, you know what? Let's do it. Okay. Level one treasure. Same difficulty. We're clearing the board. Let's do it. <laughs> Level one loop. Oh my god! I'm scared. Four. What did you get? I got a four. 
plus two attack modifier. I'm oh, at one. the stack limit of attack modifier, so I replace the one with the two. <laughs> Yay. I get a one damage modifier. Ooh. You're in the big time. Yeah. Lots of damage around here. All right, here we go. Our last tile reveal. Pillars of Salt. You turned around and looked at the destruction of <laughs> the one biblical city. Uh, okay, I can't remember what it was. Been a long time for that. So, you can spawn a level 2 minion, or you can roll a oh. die. On a 1 through 3, spawn a level 3 minion, but on a 4 through 6, gain 3 gold. I can level 2. Okay. Here we go. No whammies. Oh no. Dark Panther. First strike. First strike. Okay. I suppose. Alright. If anything's gonna strike me, it's gonna be a Panther as well. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, he's got nine health. He's going just for straight uh, swipes. Like those two. All chaos. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. You get the lowest one of Shred. He does not have three of a kind, so he doesn't inflict bleed, but he is coming for six defendable damage. Six damage. I get to roll my defense for once, twice. Is it your dice? Get out. I get four of these bad boys. Uh, we're going to do three back and prevent one. I can re roll. I don't want to just. Prevent one and re-roll the rest. Mm -hmm. I prevent one more. That is four damage. Do one back. That's it. Okay. It, I take four. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then <coughs> he takes one. Down to eight. And then it's my go. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Uh, CP card. Oop. Better D. Better D, huh? Oh, I have recoil. I should have played that. It was free. Oh. After being attacked, roll two dice. On espionage, I either gain a CP, or on a six, I can prevent half. Yeah. Oh, you! <laughs> I guess you did also have the two um, agilities. And not this time. Oh. And not this time. I could have just blocked it all. That's fine. You're just not um, used to getting hit, so. <laughs> I get it. A one tap in these guys. Um. Yeah, I think we just roll and here we go. Eight damage. Uh, preferably undefendable. Yep. Not too worried, but preferably undefendable. Uh, three, four, five, six. That's close. But it's not undefendable. Here's my undefendable lagging. That's six yep. undefendable. Seven undefendable. Damage modifiers would take them out. Need two sixes. Um, three, four, five, six. Got agility stack. Some bombs probably really don't matter there. Oh, it might. I have two CP. I kind of want to save my CP. I do have a twice as wild that I maybe prefer not to use, but can use. Alright. <clears throat> no, I have a six it. Um, worst case scenario, we do a six. Keep, uh, 
four or five. Which which thing are you going for? Um sorry. We okay. go for spy game. Would be lethal. Okay. I would gain I wouldn't really gain anything, but it's lethal. But you also would avoid bleed. That's gaining right. quite a bit. Right. Right. Alright, let's roll these. Let's roll one. Yeah, that's good. Got our eyeball. Um, one third chance. One third chance. All I need is an eyeball. It's not an eyeball. Um, but well, it's I mean, still lethal. A, a six, it still saves you here. <laughs> <laughs> it does. All right. Six it for one CP. Oh, down to one. There we go. Giving me grapple two. Uh, gain a CP. Six it costs two. It, does it? No. It, it costs two. One. One says one. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you're at you're at two. You had gone down to one CP. That's what I was confused on. Well, I, yeah, I went down to one, and then I gained one from grapple. Uh, you were at three before you used six it. Yeah, I hit the wrong button. Oh, okay. I went up one. Subtract, yeah. Gotcha. We're good. Um, so I gained one, I gained agility, which I'm at stack, deal seven undefendable damage, and then deal one damage per ability upgrade, so that's another eight. So I would do 15 undefendable damage. Would smoke the <laughs> panther. Uh, what health? <laughs> Blue loot. Blue. Seventeen. Three. Three gold. One gold. All right. Okay. What'd you get? I get ten. I heal three. Use. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, main phase two. One gold would have been good to get us into that threshold, but that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I have nothing to play, so... Good. Okay. It's Hydra, Hydra time. CP. Card. Tip it. Alright, I'm in the same thing. Same situation of four CP. Uh, so we're going to spin two. And we're going to bump up Bottled Lightning because that gives us an extra ability here. And let's go. Whoop. Chain lightnings deal roll three, deal damage equal to the total roll value of any of the two, and then two damage is an isolated source of collateral damage. Okay. Um, mighty summon. Don't really want. All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep these sixes and a hammer. Trying for chain lightning. And the boom boom will be the backup. Chain lightning it is. The one I didn't upgrade. It's fine. <laughs> All right, roll three dice. Deal damage equal to the total roll value of any two of these dice. So that's 11. And then also deal two. Uh, additionally, deal two as an isolated source of collateral damage to a chosen opponent. Since that's isolated... So you do 11 first. I do 11. Takes him down to zero. He loses a head. And then he goes back to six. And then the second source eight. of damage... Or goes to eight. Second source of damage brings him down to six. Yep. Neat. 
Um, like that. Um. So the upgrade lets you roll four dice instead of three, and then three damage for the second thing. He's got six health. Uh, I could flip and just deal six damage to him right here. Um, to not have to deal with him, and then you could go into the boss, and then I could join you on the next turn. Otherwise, you're doing two turns in a row on the boss. Unless you come and do this, but then you won't be going to the boss first to get the salve. I like the first idea. Flip. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm so stacked right here. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I will... <laughs> and this would have triggered my gain in electrokinesis from the chain lightning. Uh, you know... But it activates first, right? Yeah, but I'm, I'm at stack limit, so... But since we're not... I don't need invulnerability immediately. I will do... Uh, I'll do the three to draw a card. Gain one for activating Chain Lightning. Alright. Got one more time. Flip to do two collateral damage to four chosen opponents, and can choose the same opponent multiple times. So, choose him three times. And he gone. He did. Oh. Nice. We finally defeated the Fierce Hydra. And we get a gold loot, level 4 loot, because he's a promo level boy. Four. This is a card. Guarantee card. Mm -hmm. We're looking for 10 or higher to get be out of the common range. 7. Boo. <laughs> 13. 13. Oh, no. Your, your OBS crashed again. Oh, my God. I crashed again. All right. I get a common here. Um, 13 is a uh, rare. i sure I haven't shuffled this yet. All right. So I have one more time, twice as wild, samesies and tippet. Uh, I have an ultimate in hand. Potentially, but I don't have enough CP for everything. So I'm done for my turn. Yep. So while you are restarting all of that, you will obviously go here. You gain a yep. salve. Salve. Got it. And then here we go. Don't have to do the spinner for this. We've unlocked the boss portal. You gain 2 CP, we gain 3 gold. I gotta remember, I'm at 2, so I'm at, right now I'm at 4. At two. Yes. Puts us up to 30 gold. Unfortunately, we weren't able to eke out one more, but that's okay. gold. And then we spawn a level 4 minion. Yep. One second to... back up here was open All right 30 gold 30 gold don't forget to share mm -mm -mm. come on be yes here excuse me I'm gonna drink at this point all right, so this level four begins with one additional King's Hand token uh, in addition to whatever's on their card. And then since we are on insane difficulty, uh, they will get an additional King's Hand token. So they will start with guaranteed two, possibly three. Once Blunder gets there. We're almost there. And I have two guard breaks... Two electrokinesis, two plus two attack modifiers. I'm gonna be swinging in for half their health on the, on the first hit. There we go, and we're back. All right. So. Uh, All right, where are we? Um, I gained. You two gained CP. two CP. 
Oh. And you got your salve. Uh, so you are drawing a level four minion. This is marked round. Level four. Oh. I don't know why I'm looking at the back sides of them. Okay. Uh, ooh, Emperor, Emperor Cobra. Cobra. Boy, I'm glad I got rid of all my status removal. <laughs> all right. So 30 health, and he has three King's Hand tokens. And Vizier. Oh, and Vizier. I completely forgot about Vizier. Good call. Oh, where even is Vizier. that? Oh, no. Vizier. Oh, no. Okay, begins in play during boss battles. Nope. Boss battles. This is not boss. I mean, yeah. it's 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 boss, but it's not like right, right. yeah. It's not the barbarian. Okay. Not vizier. Not yet. <laughs> Next time it'll be vizier. <laughs> yeah, cobra will be. Well, maybe not rough enough. We'll we'll see. Right. We hit so hard, uh, and he does not have first strike, so it is your your I time. Um, a time to shine. Let's see, before before you do anything though, since now's the opportunity to use the salve, he will yep. potentially be coming in with uh, four status effects, which will deal four damage at the end of his turn. And then poison hits for one, makes five, bleed, potentially seven damage. Oh, if, he, salve. if he hits. Okay. Salve for five? Salve for five. Is we're at minus one from insane difficulty. Oh, I didn't, I didn't update my stream title. Don't play Marvel I'm, United. I'm real good at streaming, guys. <laughs> it's great. All right, game <laughs> CP draw a card. Glad I remembered on the final enemy of the game. <laughs> All right, here we go. I gained undercover mission. Those an opponent gains a time bomb. If you have at least four ability upgrades in play, I gain an agility, which I'm at stack, unfortunately. Seems like a good next turn situation. Next turn, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, we just roll. We're going to roll hard. We're going to roll heavy. We're going to do 30 damage. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, that is spy game. Uh, covert app doesn't do anything. Agility, we get one, six, undefendable, seven with uh, red room training. Agility, you're at stack limit too, aren't you? Yep, yep. Uh, it'd be eight, undefendable damage. This feels good. You have the two attack modifiers. Yeah, it'd be eight total with those. Um, oh, with those and red room training? Six, seven, oh, sorry, it'd be nine. It'd be nine. Okay. It's a third of his health. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, and I can put a one second bomb on. After, after he... Mm, Agility doesn't do much for me here. I think I think waiting till your next turn for that bomb gain you agility situation. Okay. Um yeah, so let's if I lock this in turn one. So what's happening? Uh, hold on here. Uh, it's... Oh, go. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we'll let it go through. I think on the fundables where it's at. 
Okay. So we will do spy game, game covert apps. Um, gain agility, which we're at stack. Deal six, seven, undefendable damage. And then we might as well throw these in there. Mm -hmm. Nine. Then that is all we do. Brings them down Nine to 21. Up. In phase two, I have nothing. I didn't inflict a bomb, but I don't think that's worth. So we are good. Okay. His turn, he's going for three vortexes. There's none. Yep. There's two. And there's none. So, nice. he failed his offensive roll phase, so he's going to spend a King's Hand token. And in scenario one, uh, spending a King's Hand token can do it once per turn. He needs a roll of four through six for it to be successful. It's a three. He failed, Ooh. so he uh, does not get to redo his offensive roll phase. Uh, and then the conclusion of his turn... Your opponent receives one damage for each negative status effect they have, which you have none negative status effects, right? Uh, chaos, that's unique. Or is that positive? Uh, that is... That's positive. Positive? Yes. Look on our positive. status screen. It is indeed a positive status effect. Positive status effect. Your Hydra head is only helping you out by doing nothing. Right. Um, <laughs> Okay, so it is my turn then. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to move in and help you out here. Okay. And that's the wrong one. Let's do this instead. I gain a CP. I draw a card. Hammered three. Okay. Uh, I got three CP. I'm going to sell hammered three to get to four CP. Three, four... I kind of want one more CP, but yeah, we're going to take them out before this happens. I'm going to sell invulnerability also to get be up to five CP. That's three, yep. four, five. Um, you know what? We're going to sell chain lightning too. We're all in. We can use all four, all, of, all four of these dice manipulators. Let's go. <laughs> Ultimate. Ultimate. Rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls. Rolls. Yeah, right. Uh. Go for it. Uh uh. Uh, one more time. Sure. The greed's real, but it's the last. It's the last guy. Woof. Um. <laughs> got it anyway. Yeah, baby. One CP for Tippet. Boop. X. Three CP. Andy's. For twice as wild. Or twice as wild. Now see, this is how you do it because. I'm going to attempt to lock in the Ooh. ultimate. He spends a king's hand token to try to prevent that. In order uh, for his king's hand token to be successful, he needs a four through six if you want to roll that for him. I will roll that. Here we go, four through six. He rolls a four. That's successful. That means I have to re-roll one of these dice. Weird. Oh, bummer, it's a one. I'm going to spend one CP <laughs> for samesies. God gamer. Got him. Cobra's <laughs> like, Cobra's like, I just wanted you to spend that one CP. Yeah, right. Uh, for Asgard, uh, gain a guard break. There we go. I'm at stack. Throw and re or retrieve Mjolnir up to four times. Then right. deal 14 undefendable damage. So it's going to go one. One. Two. Down to 20. Yep, down to 20. 
Two back to me. I gained an electrokinesis. Two. Oh. He or er, yeah, three. Takes a card or he takes damage. Goes down to nineteen. Four comes back to me. I get an electrokinesis. Um, then I'm going to spend three electrokinesis to draw a card. Okay, okay. And then uh, hitting for 14 undefendable, 15, Oof. 16, 17, 18. Nice. And then this card that I just drew, I'm going to discard it to throw the hammer at him again for one more damage to hit for 19. It's a 19 damage. And he gone. <laughs> I didn't even get to like do anything. <laughs> wow. What about Vizier? That's that's next time. Does it matter? Oh, that's right. It's <laughs> we, All right. We did it. <laughs> good, good job, team. It was more than that. It was 21 because the, the two throws or the two hits at the beginning. Right, right. He started at 21. That's 21 damage on that turn. Wow. Yikes. All right. Well, we get a level four. Level four loot. Yeah, wrecked. I'll say. Hot dang. Uh, All right. Uh, what were, oh, yeah, level four. Oh, you go first. 12. I think that puts me in the rare category. It does. Got a rare. I got a three. Boo. Boo. All right. He gone. And that's the, that's the conclusion. Yes. <laughs> uh, God. Thor is awesome. Right, just... I am very happy with uh, with this. Okay, so um, the shop is three common cards and a rare card. So three commons and a rare. Um, how I think we should do this this time is. Like we we still get our things here because we each have our own shop, so you can deal that out, and that way we can check these for dupes quick, and then after that we'll go into. How was it? Two commons and a rare. A uh, three commons and a rare. Commons. One, two, three. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's right. And rare. Ah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, and then we have 30 gold each. All right. So commons cost 10. Rares cost 15. Um, unidentified cards cost 10. So let's see. Bonus pull. You can spend an attack modifier status effect token on a teammate's attack. But it doesn't give you attack modifier tokens. What stat effect 2 is good? Makes it cheaper. Elven boots is good. Alright. Um, I can start. I will spend 10 CP for a rare. Identify. Life funnel 2. Receive three damage. A chosen hero gains one salve. That's actually pretty okay for me to have. I'm uh, yeah. I'm into that because yeah. uh, I can I can heal three from yeah. my or heal from my mighty summon and yeah. Cool. Uh, it's life funnel. That's down to twenty. I'll do ten more for this rare. So wild three. A uh, yes please. All right, 10 left. I can either identify that common or take one of these commons. Ooh, I think I'm going to spend my 10 to get what status effects to. And then sell this card for five. So I've got five left over for points from me. Okay. Yeah. And these go back to the bottom. Okay. Then you can go ahead. 
Here's what I got. Um, snare trap. So an opponent successfully deals at least six damage to you. Um, you play this card and deal two return damage and inflict entangled. Um, treasure hunter gain one loot. So for zero CP, we gain one loot. Teammates may not roll their loot dice unless they pay a CP. Uh, but if this is played during a boss battle, you gain one CP and draw a card instead. So it's a free CP and a free draw. Uh, trench coat made it to my board. Um, it's an old time favorite. When selling a card, you gain two CP instead of one. Mm -hmm. And then purge two is our rare. Um, roll three dice for one CP instant action. Uh, for every four through six, we may remove a, sta a status effect token from a chosen player. And we have two commons that we can uh, go for. So, um, really like the sound of purge. I like I like trench coat. How many? cards did you get during the thing? Uh, two commons. Two commons? Okay. So I think Snare Trap it successfully deals. So even after my defense and after playing agilities, I feel like uh, it can be hard to play. Uh, Treasure Hunter, meh. So I think Trench Coat for sure makes it to my board. That's ten. Everything costs cheaper and it's free to play with my tokens. That's okay. We'll keep it. Um, purge would cost me 15. Good news. The app was updated to include the Marvel stuff. Nice. Um, we're going to take purge. I think that's going to come in hand. It's it's very situational, but I think it'll come in handy when you least expect it. Leave me with five gold, I'm going to sell a common. In exchange for buying a common. So we sell for five, spend ten, brings us down to zero. Giving us... Which one do I want to flip? Let's sell this one. Huh. Ooh, regenerating arm. When a hero spends a cell, they heal for one additional health. Hey, hey, that counteracts our insane thing. That's awesome. Um, because I'm shuffling the cards every time. I'm gonna look at this. Are we shuffling cards, or are we just going to keep like the the ones that end up on the bottom the other direction, and then when we yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Okay. We, we're gonna shuffle the minions though, for sure. Okay. All right. So what what did you what did you take? You got regenerating I got, orb. Uh, regenerating regenerating orb. Uh, right, uh, one uh, purge two, and trench coat. Okay. Trench coat. Regenerating orb. Okay. Uh. So. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe we should reshuffle the loot decks each time because otherwise we have to pull out the ones that the other person also didn't take to keep at the bottom I guess that's fine yeah, whatever it's the way we've been doing it yeah alright so you got <laughs> so keep them face forward or separated yeah so you got regenerating orb and trench coat from the basic one. Boom. And then you hit purge from the other one. Purge to trench coat regenerating orb. <clears throat> okay. I will keep those out in your thing, and these will be in my thing. I will get sleeves in a bit. Uh, there we go, people. The That is the end of scenario one. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
thank you for. Oh, I should. You, you had. Uh, uh, let's see. How do we do this? We had three salves left. Uh, did you have any unspent gold? Nope. Okay. Five unspent gold from me. We did explore all tiles. We're at 49 points so far. Ooh. Huzzah. Okay. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, <laughs> and we are yeah super excited to be into this now. And we will be back soon with Scenario 2 where we fight the Fallen Barbarian and the Vizier, which we haven't done yet and we're super excited about. So uh, tune in then. Uh, and until next time, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. Peace out.